Welcome to the 44th lecture of this year at Namas University, the spiritual digital university of the earth, a space and community helping all human beings to fulfill their true life's purpose under the guidance of the soul and Shambhala, and thus together with all other beings to create earth's future in accordance with the current divine plan. I am the Sanat Kumara. I'm glad to meet you again. Today I want to draw your attention to a special being who is the messenger of love. Her name is Gratitude. Being the daughter of love and the sister of joy and fidelity, Gratitude gives blessings, heals, saves and strengthens one's spirit. Gratitude is present in all dimensions outside space and yet in every iota of the universe. She sounds beyond time and yet in every moment. She is present everywhere and always. The Bible says, Rejoice invariably. Pray incessantly. Be grateful for everything that is. Similar commandments were passed on to earth dwellers through all the messengers that were sent to earth by the united heart of Shambhala. Think about why that is. Love, joy, and gratitude weave the canvas of the universe on which the One, the Creator, paints the life of all creation. Unfortunately, in the modern time, the meaning of the gratitude mentioned in the commandments has been simplified to plain etiquette and politeness with a trivial thanks, without involvement of the heart, which results in the absence of the very spirit of gratitude in which such polite words were given. Today I will reveal to you important knowledge. The spirit of gratitude as an aspect of the Creator is manifested in the grail cup of everyone's heart, being able to instantly convey the message of your love to all particles of the universe throughout all dimensions. But this will happen only if the gratitude is a genuine one and is flowing directly from the heart. While being overwhelmed with gratitude, one conveys recognition, joy and love outward, literally sharing live energy that pours from the grail cup into the world. When one's thankfulness comes from the mind insincerely out of mere politeness, the energy exchange between hearts does not occur. The messengers of Shambhala have repeatedly said that the lack of gratitude in the hearts of people is clear evidence of the loss of contact with the soul and the Creator, and they call such absence of gratitude as lifelessness. Not everyone is able to accept gratitude. What could be easier than to accept goodness, one may say? However, this is not easy at all. Only those with an open heart and soul can feel the spirit of love. The heartfelt connection with the Creator and between the particles of creation exist due to great gratitude, sacred joy, and divine love. They are all pervading messengers of the source of life and the Holy Spirit. They are manifested in the grail cup of the human heart. That's why it's so important to open the heart and live under the guidance of the soul. More than once, in moments of extreme danger, people whose hearts were truly grateful to God received unexpected help and knowledge of how to get out of dangerous situations and gained strength to overcome all troubles. One may think such stories are mystical only because lack of understanding that it's the gratitude that connects a person with the Creator and carries God's grace on its wings. The healing power of the emanation of gratitude is great. 
of particular importance in the divine world is the ability to acknowledge good qualities and virtues in other people. Recognition gives rise to gratitude. The wider and finer the consciousness, the more gratitude it accommodates. Otherwise, when consciousness is limited, it deprives such opportunity. We know what regret a consciousness person has while not being able to feel gratitude, for this indicates that the connection of the heart and soul is lost and the exchange of divine energies is diminished. Breaking the connection is the cause of pain, not the need for words of gratitude. Have you managed to feel and realize the role of great gratitude in your life? Let's do it right now without any further delay. Please tune into a practice that will heal you and your relationships. If necessary, pause the lecture right now and find a quiet place to sit comfortably. Ask your family to let you be undisturbed for 20 minutes or so. Please gently close your eyes. Breathe slowly. Calm down. Relax. Let me help you feel the spirit of gratitude inside your heart and absorb the life-giving energy of the Grail Cup. Please recall some of your personal experiences of being in awe, feelings of joy due to your good deeds, support and help given to someone that resulted in seeing love, joy and relief in the person's eyes and hearing their sincere words of gratitude. There may be a fluid flow of wonderful energy. Gently let these feelings fill you up once again by opening your Merkaba and heart. Let the vibrations of sincere gratitude and love that different human hearts have sent to you during this lifetime pour over you again right now and fill up every cell of all your bodies, both physical and subtle. I strengthen this unique experience of yours tenfold and also send you my heartfelt gratitude for your willingness to fulfill the mission of the soul, for the inspirations and efforts, for your service, kind thoughts, feelings and deeds, for big and small human actions that have adorned the creation. I sincerely thank you with unconditional love, my dear friend. Please accept my genuine gratitude right now.
and now feel beyond time and space. Parental unconditional gratitude, blessings, and love that the Creator Himself is transmitting to you here and now. Feel how your heart is getting filled up with light and love. Feel this priceless, overwhelming, and enveloping feeling that unites hearts with the whole universe. Experience grace. Thank you for being able to feel oneness with the great spirit of gratitude. Allow yourself to consciously go through this experience right now. Your heart is filled with love and gratitude. It pleases me. Let's experience the conscious transmission of grateful energy pouring out of your heart right now. Send a stream of love and gratitude to someone who is very important to you, whom you love and want to thank or heal right now. Feel the powerful and benevolent healing and miraculous flow pouring out of your heart. The spirit of gratitude carries your feelings on the wings of love to that one to whom you are sending it to. Strengthen and deepen this flow. Let it be subtle, gentle but powerful and stable. I multiply your flow of gratitude tenfold. Feel and transmit it. Keep on transmitting. Keep on going. Keep on transmitting.
Gratitude always brings in love, joy, healing, and the energy of life. The spirit of gratitude heals everything it touches. Perhaps your soul longs for conveying gratitude to the earth, the creator, and the creation as a whole. Let it happen right now. I increase your flow of gratitude tenfold. Transmit it in a prayerful mood with reverence. Pass it on. Feel and transmit it. Thank you, my dear friend. Right at this very moment, your life and the universe are sanctified by the goodness of your heart. After this practice of love and gratitude, do you still feel a need for me to explain once more why the energy of gratitude opens all doors on the path of the heart? And why on another end, ingratitude breaks connections and closes all doors? I know there is no need, for your heart has remembered the true power and essence of the most important aspect of love, the spirit of gratitude. Today you have learned the divine knowledge by practice. It's time to talk about homework. I suggest you improve the results by continuing the practice Guidance for Harmonious Movement Along the River of Life, which the United Heart of Shambhala recommended in the 43rd lecture. If you are already doing it, you will enjoy the opportunity to make the practice more effective and even miraculous. During each of the three steps of the practice, Apply the process of transmitting and receiving gratitude from the Divine Grail Cup of the Heart. Do it consciously and sincerely. The practice of gratitude changes lives, and these changes will be obvious. Write down your observations in a diary. Share, if you will, your results with other students of Namas University, and leave comments about this lecture below. Our task is not to offer you a thousand practices that you will do just once. Quite the opposite. We want to offer you a few practices that you will be able to practice thousands of times, creating a life on a new vibrational level under the guidance of your soul. The daily three-step process is one of these important practices. We will keep explaining the importance of the aspects of this exercise in the future. By listening to this lecture again and again, you will be able to fill yourself up with the energy of gratitude. The vibrations that I transmit are opening one's heart and helping to develop the ability to give away and receive pure love and sincere gratitude in an easy and natural way. You know for sure that everyone has many reasons to express gratitude. If you are sincerely and consciously with all of your heart appreciating the beautiful Emea, the planet you live on, you will help the Creator and us to heal her. Many of you are waiting for an assignment or task from Shambhala. Here it is. The most important task for all students of Namas University. Love. Cherish. Purify, heal, and thank the Earth daily. 
Unfortunately, the results of the exploitation of the planet have brought Aimea to the stage where it is becoming increasingly difficult to restore balance without disturbing people's lives. It is difficult to find a more patient, loving and caring planet regardless of whether it receives love, recognition, and gratitude from its inhabitants or not. Every ambassador of light as a real caregiver can be an example of the conscious conveyance of love and gratitude to Emea. If you want to create permanent contact with your soul, send it genuine gratitude. It will get back to you due to the constant exchange of love. Your gratitude will be accepted and will fly through time. You already believe in the possibility of sending gratitude to those who are no longer on earth, for example, to your ancestors. The same holds true with those who have not incarnated on earth yet, the future generations. You can convey gratitude to any living being in creation and to the Creator Himself. It will be a natural exchange of the energy of love, joy, and gratitude through a united Holy Grail Cup. Gratitude opens the doors to heaven, giving the opportunity to feel divine love. Love is the mother of joy, gratitude, compassion, faith, devotion, and many other beautiful aspects of the divine. Let the ray of gratitude illuminate your path along with the ray of love. And so be it. I convey the knowledge and vibrations of love to you through Ala Ravenko, and I am grateful to her. Next time we will talk about the mission of the soul and how to find out if your heart is open indeed. I bow respectfully to you. Thank you, beloved Sanat Kumara. I am pleased to announce the publication of the third volume of the Chronicles of Sanat Kumara, titled Unity at the Vatican. This book, written in German by Dr. Martina Violetta Jung, tells the story of three women who, during a visit to the Vatican, formed the Triad of Light and, with Yeshua's help, dared to fulfill the idea of unity against the old paradigm of the Vatican. Dear students, in the text block under this podcast, there is a link to the Namas University website with useful information on how to voluntarily join student groups and chats and to purchase educational materials, etc. My sincere gratitude for your attention and time. See you in a week. This message was received by Ala Ravenko in Russian, translated to English by Igor Ravenko, and voiced over by Joel Cameron Pennington. Kumara Satsanga Kumara Satsanga Kawahirina Kawahiriya Kumara Sanga, Kumara Satsang.